Hi guys, I'm Nagata Chan and welcome to my live reaction for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Chapter 7 and 8. Previously, Jojo, the new one, the grandson of previous one, was still fighting with strides. It was kind of very hard for him and in the end he chose to run though it might still be like part of the plan I don't know Straits looks like a very strong opponent so I don't know what Jojo wants to do Straits is like going for the kill so what is Jojo going to do I don't know so chapter 7 is called Cold and Cruel Straits uh, there is art again with Jojo and how's that kid called? I don't remember. There is a map of Europe, America, Africa. I don't see Asia because Jojo is covering it. Nice map in the background. So, yeah. They're still like near the restaurant or cafe or what it was. Run, Smokey. People are like panicking the bomber is getting away <laughs> it's not a bomber well he had grenades but still did someone die inside he's coming this way and they're talking about Jojo because they saw him using grenades or bombs or whatever but at straits but straits is not dead yet shit oh there is some guy I'll be a hero in the papers. He is very mus musco <laughs> not mus muscular. All right, watch this, baby. You are a man, brute. Is gonna capture them for the police. Oh, you are so great, broody. Your your man. Not you are. Your. Did they mean your man, brood? Please use grammar and things right in English. I mean, English is not my native language, but this just sounds weird. Give it up, criminal. He's <laughs> like hitting up, preparing punches. Jojo is not even looking straight at him, he's just looking behind because Strats is there. Yeah, and he just caught him and Jojo's like, what's this? You don't understand, get out of the way, you'll get hurt, you idiot. Wow, and he just kicked him. He just get him in the face. Wow, yeah. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> my nose <laughs> my nose he kicked me in the head what the hell he's much cooler than you oh the pain those fine girls seriously girl if you like someone you should like him with everything he has oh somebody's snatching things this looks like a reporter yep she's photographing yes what a scoop. I'll take more photos and sell them to the papers. Girl, this is not Spider-Man. You're not Spidey, so technically he can shoot himself and not be in danger because he's also a hero. But if he would be only a normal reporter, that would be fucking dangerous. And you're a girl. So lucky. This is the start of my reporter career. And a straight is like reaching for her, I guess. He's on a building. Like a freaking spider. And he's naked. <laughs> and bloody. Hmm. I like it. I like it. He's on a freaking building. Stuck to it like a freaking spider. Ugh. Even though, even though I'm immortal. Repairing my destroyed body takes up a lot of energy. I'm pretty weakened right now. 
So I'm probably going for a little snack. <laughs> he's pissed. Maybe he's considering all the things he never thought of, like, you might be immortal, but still it sucks. <laughs> what? Finger pressure strength. 235 kilograms. On centimeter? One centimeter? Uh, somehow I cannot... Well, so much kilograms on one centimeter is a lot. Jeez. Jumping ability currently 4.22 meters. That's a lot. Kinda a lot. I mean, I would think that Vampire would jump more, but he's in weakened state. He's all bloody and such. About that pressure string, I'm thinking. How big is pressure string of crocodile or alligator? Because their pressure, like, string and jaws and claws, like, in their jaws is freaking amazing. You know, that's scary. Scary as hell. Could we don't have alligators and crocodiles here. So, Jojo ran to a bridge. <sighs> It's smoky. Not involved yet for some reason. I ran with you. Also, Jojo is panting a little bit. I mean, they run all over here. So why are you with him, Smokey? You can be easily killed. You're not a superhuman. But we should be safe here. Wanna smoke? He's just sitting there smoking. What the hell? No, Smokey. Listen to that sound. So, is, is it the river? No, above us is the fucker with a girl holding her. What? Oh, he's after us. Run! <laughs> he's trying to run again. Wait, wait, what's with that woman? What does that bastard intend to? He's holding her. Hostage? What help me? Why is he sticking the fingers in her mouth? <laughs> what are you trying to do? He looks pretty serious too. Um, uh, she she doesn't look like she minds that much. <laughs> Why is he? What help me? Just is like what? What is with the girl? I'm asking the same thing. The girl is a hostage. Yeah, I, I managed to think that. If you run, I'll kill the girl. But if you climb he up here, then I'll let her go. Well, can't you do both at the same time? Like, let him climb up, but also kill her? He's weakened, that's why he's having hostage, I guess. Judge Oak. It's clever, isn't he? So he should be, like, thinking about it. Seriously, the girl really doesn't look like she's minding that. I mean, I mean, he is pretty. And he's naked. I wouldn't mind that. What? What's going on? Why would he take some stranger as a hostage? Plus, climbing up there would mean being hit by the liquid blast from his eyes and dying. But Jojo is Jojo if... The previous, previous Jojo's blood is running through him. He won't let an um, innocent woman die. <sighs> what the hell is that? Lights? What are you thinking? I don't know that girl. Why are you taking strangers as hostages, idiot? Is it trying to bluff? Smokey's like, Exactly. Let's run, Jojo. He's sweating the bullets. I'm testing you. What kind of man you are, Jojo? If you will forsake this unknown and run, I'll know what kind of man you are. Yep. Shitty. Shitty kind of. 
I need time to heal so I won't bother chasing you. You won't come after me to avenge Speedwagon. But if you climb up to save the girl, that will reveal your personality. Oh, she's, now she's crying. Your future growth will be a great danger to me. I may be weakened, but I will have to use all my strength to kill you now. You serious? Well, yeah, that was very cold of you, Jojo, to say, I don't know the girl, I don't freaking care about her. At least, <laughs> straight, <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> now she's crying. She was, like, standing there or doing nothing. Now she's crying. I'll kill this girl in five seconds. Decide whether you'll run or climb. I mean, running is... No. You know. Man, if it was a girl I was in love with, I could understand, but why do I have to fight for an ugly bitch like that, dumbass? She is not ugly. What's your type, Jojo? I wonder. Seriously. She's not ugly. She's actually kind of pretty. Well, she she has short hair, blue eyes, blonde. Maybe he's not in blonde girls. Why he is complaining? Oh my god, the old Jojo would be like, I don't fucking, I don't fucking care. He he would be there even before he would start talking and ripping his ass off. I kill her by ripping her jaw off, and slicing right through her throat and chest. Well, that sounds yummy. Ah. Uh. Jojo is considering it now. Huh. Like a Tibetan successor to the rape technique would do such horrible things to a woman. Ah, uh, maybe you shouldn't be saying that. He doesn't believe it. I mean, he knows that he's evil, but I guess he's thinking just like to him, not to innocent people, I guess. Uh, but he did something. Yikes. Ah, oh, he just ripped her tooth off. Yummy. And now she's screaming. Well, it might not be that painful because it was kind of fast, but he ripped a freaking tooth out of her mouth. Jojo! Looks like he's considering his thoughts now. Her back tooth, that woman's back tooth was just ripped out of her mouth, yeah. That bastard, he really yanked it out. <gasps> What's wrong with this Jojo? I show no mercy, he's pissed. Looks pissed. What's wrong with this Jojo? He's so surprised. Like, the guy just went through to you and he tried to kill you. So you thought he wouldn't do that? Jesus. Man. Now he's preparing to fight. Oh, looks like JJ is finally pissed. Yeah, he's buffing up. I can't forgive you. You are rotten to the core. <laughs> now he's up. Seriously, JJ. Well, he's young. That's probably about it. Foolish, but as expected, you're a passionate man. He just let her go? I'm going to rip you apart straight. Well, so far you're just ripping your clothes. Jacket. Take this. <laughs> Space Ripper Stingy Eyes. Stingy? Stingy? Which one? Again, he's just shooting his lasers. <laughs> you should kill a woman. And make him feel bad. That would learn him, taught him, teach him. Because this JJ is... I don't know. So what he's doing? What? I thought of a way to defeat it earlier. We're all a fool for using the same move twice. 
So he has two tiny glasses, like for shots, sending a ripple through it, and eyes catching the laser liquid thing, and it's just being turned back to straight. Okay, it's fancy, colorful, but I'm still trying to like understand the bizarreness of this things. But this is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, so okay. I should get um it will be very often I guess so I should be okay with it pretty soon. Just Just turn around in a freaking glass. Shot class, smile class, how do you call it in English? Oh wow, and he shoot through his head. Cool. That's cool. Looks painful. But one of the other one just shot Jojo. Im Next you will say impossible. Yep, he said impossible. I don't know, Jojo. I don't like you. You're too bratty. I caught your liquid blast with a ripple glass. It was easy since I knew you'd go for my forehead. Well, but he still shoot you in a hand, shoulder. You know, you're trying to be cool, but you are kind of not <laughs> as cool as your grandfather was. So now a straight is running at him. Make it up to speed wagon. He's like trying to kill him. Wow, yep, in hell. He just punched him in a freaking face. You'll be able to sleep tonight, Grandma. Why do I assume that speed wagon will be in hell? That's rude, Jojo. <laughs> well, yeah, his face is melting. Poor straight. He's flying. He is flying. And... But he caught himself. Oh, well, or, or tried. This looks like this is the next par part of the next chapter. Because there is a, even like a freaking name of the chapter. Nazis and the man on the column? What? Next chapter is about Nazis. Okay. So yeah, Strait is falling down, but he's trying to catch himself. But he couldn't. Looks like he's pretty weak. Yeah, he's falling down, all of his face melting out. Looks Yochi. Well, like I said before, I don't like this Jojo. He's too bratty and he's trying to be so much cool. But I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. Maybe in the end we will be more adulty and like, I don't know, better. <laughs> okay, so that's this chapter. Well, I might give it 8 out of 10 for straight mighty booty. But that's all. I don't understand this Jojo. I don't like his personality, so it's quite hard for me. Yeah. Next chapter. Nazis and a man in a column. What the hell? But Jojo caught straight. Yeah, he caught... That booty, god damn. Yeah, he's holding him. Why? Maybe he needs some... Uh, answers? Yeah, there is an ocean. Why do you stop me from falling? I might have the power left to instantly blast your right arm off. Shut up, just try it. <laughs> I'm already prepared to beat the shit out of you with my left hand if you try that. You sure, Jojo? You sure? You sure or are you just saying that? This sounds cool. Sound cool. So he's holding him. 
There's one thing I wanted to ask you. Of course, he needs answers. Why did you throw Speedwagon and the five other bodies into the river? I'd like to give him a proper bur burial. I just don't get it. If you didn't throw Speedwagon's body into the river, then nobody would have found out. Joseph, you are truly a man who carries on Jonathan's blood. Your attitude is different, but you have the personality that wants to jump into mystery and adventure. Yeah, his attitude is very different. You are similar to Jonathan and his, and his interest in the stone mask. That mighty booty. Oh my god. I love it. And because of that, I'll tell you that you have now just stepped into a destiny you cannot escape from. Threats? He's like, what do you mean? You soon, lo you will soon learn of the man in the column. You'll soon meet the man in the column. Oh my god. What the hell are you talking about? I'm asking about Speedwagon. What do you mean? Like he's going to wake up? You might not, not, not understand. But the reason I threw the bodies into the river was because of the men in the column. The column in the cave started absorbing the blood from the bodies, like a plant absorbing nutrition. Well, yeah, so he threw them away because he didn't want him to wake up, I guess. It was creepy, like the man in the column was about to awaken. That's why I took them outside and tossed them into the river. But he'll probably awaken. He will probably awake soon. What's with English, please? Since he has absorbed some blood, awakened from his 4,000 years of sleep. Okay, so this guy is going to wake up. That's not good news. What kind of ability does he possess? What kind of life form is he? I wish I could have seen it. Joseph. You will likely meet him soon. You will probably understand his identity and the meaning of evolution, like destiny handed down by God. You straight, you are... What the hell is he doing? I have no regrets. Rather than aging pathetically, I'd rather go to hell with the excitement of getting my youth back. I don't know, it looks like he's exploding from inside. He's breathing with a ripple technique. Ah, oh, meaning he's created a ripple inside his body. So he's killing himself. Oh, I didn't know they can do that. I mean, probably because he's breathing, so he can do the ripple. But because this is kind of deadly to him, he's dying. Gaining my youth again was the ultimate happiness, Jojo. Wait straight, I'm not done talking. Farewell. <clears throat> yep, he just exploded. Into bits. Very flashy. Eh. <laughs> Jojo is kinda like uh, mad. What is it doing? <laughs> Jojo, you are not an ape. Stop doing that. Yeah, he's screaming like, I wanted to know that. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. So here are the Nazis. So we have a German Nazi. There is a, some army with the banners. Okay. Actually, I don't even know what time is in this manga. What's the year? I forgot. Whoopsie. Uh, 1937 Europe. Hitler's German Nazi army has conquered Czechoslovakia. The Second World War continues to escalate. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> It'll always feel pretty well when your country is mentioned somewhere. 
because it's a very small country and people usually don't care. Many people don't even know where it is. So I'm glad I mentioned Czechoslovakia, but it's part of real history, so if you wouldn't mention that, you would be kind of ignoring big part of history. Yeah, it happened. It sucked. It sucked. And later on, well, Czechoslovakia doesn't exist anymore. We divided into Czech Republic and Slovakia. But, yeah. Can't believe, like, and it's not even, like, that long time ago. Like, it's not. Oh, God, we have Hitler here. Here. German Nazi. This weird group believe that they, the Germans, were the most evolved people among humans and use this as a reason for war. So probably it's around this time in this manga. There will be a lot of Nazis, I guess. What's with the Nazis everywhere? And the advanced humans must control the spiritual and scientific world. They try to use astrology, magic, alchemy, ESP, occult as weapons of war. Yeah, they were kind of crazy. And a swastika, the altered cross, was designed after the magical symbol that represents destiny and life, found in ruins throughout the world. Yeah, like, the cross they used. You will see it in many places, or many places, and like buildings in Asia, the spanning to other side. And, like, it has nothing to do with Nazis. It's just very, very old symbol. And Nazis just use it, just alter it a little bit, but use that. Which is kind of sad because, like, when people see that cross, they're immediately thinking of Nazis, even though, like, that original cross has nothing to do with Nazis. It's just part of very long culture of Asia. Damn you, Nazis. Yep. Oh, Hitler looks kind of cool here. So, it's around this time. Jojo. This, Jojo. There would be a lot of Nazis, I guess. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. So, the World War Two. Would happen here? Interesting. Okay. Where the hell we are? Straight actions are already known in this Mexican Nazi information base. Mexican? What? Were Nazis in Mexico? I don't know anything about it. Probably because I don't know anything about Mexican history. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know much about Mexican history or even like South American history. I know a lot about European history, bits of Asian history, tiny bit about African, maybe slightly bit about North American history, but South American history Mexican history, the middle America, how is it called? <laughs> wow, I don't know much. Like, I know bits about USA and Canada because, like, we were at school learning things about it. But Mexico, like, down from Mexico, I don't know anything about history of those places. Jesus. Well, I was never like a huge history person. I was more like biology, botanics, nature, animals. So I definitely know animals which live in Mexico and America, but history? Uh... Nope. <laughs> so we are in Mexico. Yeah, I can see the swastika. There is some fancy guy lying on a chair with some chicks around. 
He is fancy. Looks like soldier. He's in a green. Yeah, he's definitely soldier. Woman is trying to shave him. It doesn't look like he needs to be shaved. And she cut him. Well, fuck. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry, Major Stran Stroheim. My my hand slipped. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He looks cool though. He looks cool. He's like looking at her. Woman. <laughs> I don't know, but he has presence. He's looking in a mirror, throwing at some freaking chicken dogs. Lick it. Huh? Here, here. You cut it, so you lick it with your tongue and ease my wound. Hmm, this guy has some very interesting, interesting imaginations. Interesting. The girls are like standing there like, uh, Why are you so dumb, girls? Those women are, look so dumb. And they're dressed like in such weird clothes. Like, from which era are they? <laughs> yes. So she's doing that. Don't make it hurt. Be gentle. Wow, this guy has pretty nice eyelashes. Like, seriously. I just love art in this. Like, his eyelashes are amazing. So she is licking the wound. She did. I don't understand this guy. Why? Why? Why would you want to do that? He enjoys that apparently. Slowly. Slowly. Wouldn't he be more glad if she would lick something else? The pain is going away. What? Oh wow. Wow. Look, look, it's gonna cut you. Because she had like her tongue sticking out and he just took the... The thing... Not razor. How is it called? Is it called a razor? The thing which was used for shaving long time ago? Well, some people still use it. <laughs> Say something. Well, maybe he, he's trying to cut it off. She's like, don't do it, I guess. That's enough. I quit. He, he's bored. She was like a st standing there sweating. Not even trying to do anything. And he's like, ah, I don't care. It's boring. Okay, eat. He's saying that to a dog or who? Probably to a dog. Oh, he threw that to dog, the meat. But dog was just like standing there and sitting and waiting for order to eat. Wow, well, this guy loves to order people around. Not even people, even dogs and animals. Excuse me, Major Strawheim. The old man we found in the Rio Dada River has regained consciousness. We can- what? We can learn the whereabouts of the ruins now. Are you kidding me? Speedwagon is alive. Speedwagon has woken up. He looks cool and hurt and probably is in even more danger than before. Because there are many Nazis around him. Uh, I really wonder what that guy wanted to, to have been licked. I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> dude. Well, that's another major who looks kinda interesting. 
because I know only one Nazi major who was kind of interesting character and has something to do with vampires and Nazis. And he's from Hasing Ultimate. I actually loved Major. He was a cool character. He was so crazy. This Major also looks pretty crazy. Um, would he, like would there be any kind of um, Nazi vampire army? Because I have feeling that would be <laughs> like seriously. There's nothing better than Nazi zombies. There's nothing better than Nazi zombies or Nazi vampires. Seriously, these are the best. So we're back to Jojo. Are you okay? What's your name? I'll take you home. Oh, it's caring about the girl. She's shaking. Let's see. Show me where you lost the tooth. Open wide. He's just grabbing her by the freaking face. Jojo, I think you need more um delicacy. When you are kind of um, a wrong woman. She's pretty. Why did he call her ugly? Oh my. So many cavities. Are you a doctor or what? Maybe the one taken on was a cavity too. How lucky. The bleeding should stop soon. And she just punched him in the face. It's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand why she punched him. Maybe because you're a douche. How dare you? You call me ugly bitch earlier. The punch was to make it up for it, idiot. To make up for it, idiot. Well, I like this woman. Finally, there's a woman who can punch guys. Previously, the average woman who sit and kinda didn't do anything arena wise. Arena, for example. For example, arena. Wow, she punched him straight in the face. I like this girl. I think he needs this kind of girl too. Girl who would like kinda punch the sense out of him. Huh, what? Hey Smokey, did I say that? Yeah, you did. You said you wouldn't risk your life for an ugly bitch. Really? I said that? That's weird. Uh, and you're so cute too. <laughs> she kicked him in the leg. Ouch! Can you remember what you say, Moran? You bitch! You said it again. Hmm? Oh, now she's crying. So you finally feel the pain you were distracted from. Anyway, this man in the column straight has gotten me worried. I guess I should go to Mexico and probably bring this girl with you because she is a reporter, so she would probably be tailing you. Just my guess. But I like her. She punched him and kicked him. He needs that. Strong woman! <laughs> I love her. She's so cool. <laughs> because, to be said, this Jojo definitely needs some... Strong woman to punch the sins in him. So yeah, that's the episodes. Ah, chapters. Oh my god, I don't know. I like the major. He looks like an interesting character. Speedwagon is alive. Cool. We all missed Speedwagon, even though it was like eight chapters only, seven chapters. <laughs> I miss them. And I like how he looks. Like, he's older him. He looks badass. Before he was kind of funny, but he looks badass. You know, like, seriously, Speedwagon. Ooh. And we have a very nice dynamic between Jojo and this reporter girl. Seriously, she needs to be a bit hum because she's cool. And Jojo is definitely going to be involved with Mexican men in the column. Well, I think I'm going to give eight and a half out of ten. Well, the first chapter was probably eight out of ten. This one is like nine out of ten, maybe ten out of ten. 
because it was interesting and funny and Speedwagon is alive. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it very much. So I'm, I'm interested. I really wish the girl would go with him. <laughs> that she would like sneak up somewhere. Because she's amazing, I like her. Major looks like interesting douche who loves to order people and animals. We have a um, World War II happening around the corner. The mansion of Czechoslovakia. And yeah, that's about it. Interesting. I like the setting. Like the historical setting and the place where it is happening. Very interesting. Yeah, so I think that's all. I really want to go or I really want to know where it is going. And I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.